Hi students, today we will be starting module 6 class 5. You all know what is clustering. It is not, nothing but the grouping of data points into small clusters. Introduction. There are two important techniques to partition objects. First one is classification or supervised learning technique. Second one is clustering or unsupervised learning technique. We have studied in module 3 and 4 about classification and uh, we, we have discussed about id3 algorithm and all and we will be moving to clustering it is nothing but grouping the, the similar data points into single it is an unsupervised learning technique it is nothing but the process of organizing objects into groups whose members are similar in some way for example consider the figure we in the first figure we will be having a lot of keys with green color and some of yellow color of different size. In after clustering, we will be getting the similar color keys as one. Well. That is the green color keys are grouped together. The yellow color keys are grouped together. They are of same size. This is actually a simple example of clustering. The types of data in clustering. There are four types of data in clustering. First one is quantitative or numerical data. Second one is binary data. Then the third one is qualitative nominal data. And finally, qualitative ordinal or rank data. That is based on the priority of data. That is priority value data. Then three distance measures are used to find the closest pair of data point between two clusters. First mother is Euclidean distance. That is d of xy equal to square root of sigma y of xi minus yi the whole square. Where xi belongs to first cluster and yi belongs to second cluster. Then the second method is Manhattan distance or city block distance. We will be finding d of xy equal to sigma y of xi minus yi. Then the third one is Chebyshev distance. Here we will be finding the maximum distance between two data points in two clusters. Then the types of clustering methods. Basically, these clustering methods can be classified into model based method, hierarchical method, partitional method, and grid based method. Then, this hierarchical method can be classified into agglomerative and divisive, and the partition based method can be classified into k means density based and expectation maximization. This k means is studied already, and hierarchical clustering. They are of two types that is agglomerative and DC. In agglomerative, it is also called an Agnes mother. It is a bottom up strategy that is, you will be initially will be having a set of data points where each point can be considered as an individual cluster. At each step, you will be finding the closest pair of clusters and merge together. Then this process continues until we will get a single cluster containing all the points. This is the agglomerative method. Then the divisive or Diana approach, it is a top-down strategy that is initially we will be having a plus single cluster containing all points. We will be splitting this single cluster into smaller clusters based on some splitting criteria. And after splitting, we will be getting k clusters, each cluster containing single data point. These are the two methods of hierarchical clustering. Then uh, it is already mentioned the classification of hierarchical clustering. Uh, this is simple example of an agglomerative and divisive clustering. That is, uh, this agglomerative strategy follows from left to right order. First, considering the agglomerative method, initially we will be having five data points that is A, B, C, D, and D, E. Uh, first step A and B are so close to each other, we will be merging them into a single cluster that is AB forms cluster 1. Then D and E are merged together to form cluster 2. Then the data point C and cluster 2 merged together to form cluster 3. And finally, this cluster 3 and cluster 1 is merged together to form cluster 4 that is ABCD. This is the agglomerative method that is top to bottom, bottom to top strategy. Then divisive is the reverse operation of this agglomerative mother that is initially we will be having a single cluster containing all the data points we will be splitting at each step and finally we will be getting each point containing single cluster. This is the simple example of an agglomerative and divisive strategy. 
This hierarchical clustering can be represented using a dendrogram. It is nothing but uh, a pictorial representation of how these objects can be grouped together. That is, we can see that in the figure A and B are grouped together to form. In the iteration 1, they are grouped together to form a single cluster. Then in iteration 1, then D and D are together to form cluster 2. Then iteration 2, C and cluster 2 is merged together to form cluster 3. And for iteration 3, cluster 3 and cluster 1 are merged together to form cluster 4. This is the simple example of a dendrogram. Then the distance met matrix is used in hierarchical clustering. Three methods are used. First one is single link approach, second one is complete link approach, and the third one is average link approach. In single link strategy, it is also called nearest neighbor algorithm. We will be finding the minimum distance between all points of a cluster A and B, where A belongs to cluster 1 and B belongs to cluster 2. That is, in the figure we can see that cluster 1 belongs to A points and cluster 2 containing B number of points. Here the smallest distance between A and B are merged together to form a single cluster. That is, uh, the leftmost and the leftmost A and B are merged together. Rightmost A and B are merged together. Then, uh, this is another example of a single link clustering strategy. Here we will be having 6 data points in the initial set. The data points 3 and 6 are merged together to form cluster 1. Then the data point 2 and 5 are merged together to form cluster 2. Then the data points, then cluster 1 and 2 are merged together to form cluster 3. And then cluster 3 and data point 4 is merged together to form cluster 4. And finally cluster 4 and data point 1 is merged together to form cluster 5. That is, we will be considering the minimum distance between data points and we will be getting the appropriate data dendrogram at the right portion. This is single link clustering. Then next is complete link clustering. It is also called father's neighbor algorithm. We will be considering the maximum distance between data points where A belongs to cluster 1 and B belongs to cluster 2. In the figure we can see that uh, the leftmost A and the rightmost B are considered for uh, joining and mer or merging. That is maximum distance between two cluster points are considered for merge. This is a, a simple example of complete link strategy. Here, initially we will be merging cluster data points 3 and 6 to form cluster 1. Then the data points 2 and 5 are merged together to form cluster 2. Then uh, the data point 4 and cluster 1 is merged together to form cluster 3. Then cluster 3 and then uh, cluster 2 and the data point 4, 1 is merged together to form cluster 4. And finally, cluster 4 and cluster 3 is merged together to form cluster 5. And it is depicted in the dendrogram at the right portion. In complete link strategy, we will be using the maximum distance between data. Then the next method is average link clustering. It is also a father's neighbor algorithm. Here we will be considering the average distance between all pair of points in clusters 1 and 2. That is in the figure we can see that A belongs to cluster 1 and point B belongs to cluster 2. We will be considering the average distance between them. This is another example of average link clustering. Here initially we will be merging data points 3 and 6 together to form cluster 1. Then the data points 2 and 5 together to form cluster 2. Then uh, data point 4 and cluster 1 are merged together to form cluster 3. Then cluster 3 and data point 1 is merged together to form cluster 4. And finally cluster 4 and cluster 2 is merged together to form cluster 5. And the corresponding dendrogram is shown at the right portion. This is average link clustering strategy. Then uh, moving to the steps in agglomerative clustering. Initially, the first step is we will be allocating each point as a cluster of its own. Then the second step is finding the distance matrix between using single link, complete link or any uh, method. And we will be sorting this distance matrix in ascending order. In step 3, we will be finding two clusters with minimum distance. Then uh, removing these entries from the distance matrix and loss them to form a cluster to form a single cluster. If only single cluster left then or the stopping criteria is met, we will be stopping this mother. 
otherwise we will compute all the distance from new cluster and updating the distance matrix and moving to step 3 this procedure then next is minimum spanning tree single link algorithm uh, the algorithm first initially the input input is a set of data points that is t1 to tn and the adjacency matrix showing the distance between elements and we'll be getting the output as dendrogram and the algorithm proceed as follows initialize initializing d to zero that is the distance then k is the number of data points to n then capital k that is the cluster groups to initially all the data point is considered as a single cluster then the dendrogram it is initialized then m equal to m of t of a is called then these uh, then the next step will be finding two clusters that are so close to each other and we'll be merging them and updating the distance values distance matrix and this procedure is continued until we will get a single clusters and all these clusters are added to the dendrogram and the output of this algorithm is a dendrogram predicting the hierarchy of clusters or merging then the next is steps in DVC clustering it is also called Diana based method initially we will be deciding the method of measuring distance between objects and threshold distance for splitting then we will be creating the distance matrix and sort them in ascending order and find two objects with maximum distance which are most dissimilar objects and if this distance between these objects is less than a threshold value and there is no cluster to be divided we will be stopping this procedure and use the pair of object as seed of k-means method to create two new clusters and if there is only one object in single cluster then we will be stopping otherwise we will go to step 2 and continue the and uh, there are two issues to be considered when performing a DVC clustering that is which cluster to split next and the solution is we can perform in some sequential order then with largest number of elements or with largest variation within it and how to split the cluster this is the issues to be arised when we will be splitting the cluster and the merits of hierarchical algorithm and it first one is it shows the hierarchy of clusters rather than a flat structure and it is simple and easy to implement and we can see the clusters at different levels of granularity the demerits of hierarchical clustering algorithm uh, the first demerit is we cannot backtrack and correct the errors that is if we encounter any errors in errors in merging we cannot backtrack and the second one is time complexity it is of the order of big of n cube and third one is space complexity it is of the order of big of n square that is this method does not scale well that is for when the when the size of the data points increases this method is not a suitable strategy and different distance metrics can change the result that is we can use symbol link single link complete link or average link strategy and based on these uh, distance metrics uh, the results may vary this is the uh, main disadvantage of higher question thank you if you have any doubts or clarifications please feel free to ask thank you uh, this is simple example of an agglomerative and 